Seahawk 49, pressure on Hasselbeck, and unable to control it. Coming out of the backfield was Alexander, and that was a good hit by Tenard Jackson. You talked about the rookie getting his start in the opening game, the free safety from Syracuse, and it was a good thing that the Buccaneers were in the Senior Bowl this year. Watch Brooks. I mean, he that that shot right there from the end zone doesn't show the blur of quickness that Brooks just showed on the blitz. Yeah, that's a tough one to overcome early in your career. Manning on second and ten. Oh, Clark! What a hit Clark took from the rookie Darrell out of your alma mater, Syracuse, Tenard Jackson, and Clark is shaken up. Wow. Mm. That's one of the things that you don't see Peyton do very often. He doesn't serve up one of his guys, and he served up Dallas Clark on that one. That is a clean, physical hit by Tenard Jackson. Wow, what a big hit. Colts tight end Dallas Clark took a hard hit from Tenard Jackson on the Indianapolis sidelines. Third down and 10 for the Colts. They have to get to the 45 yard line. Manning faked the inside handoff. Now he is going deep looking for Reggie Wayne. It's picked off by Jackson. Tenard Jackson, one play after his hit on Clark, is a penalty marker as Jackson returns it all the way to the Colts. 24-yard line, his first NFL interception, and he brings it back 46 yards. The back prior to Vince Young. Young gives to Chris Brown. Chris Brown buried maybe a yard, but Tenard Jackson came up big. Now, Tenard Jackson is a rookie from Syracuse, and this is how you want a safety to fill his gap. And remember the hit he laid on Dallas Clark last week of the Colts? This guy is a hitting machine. What a steal in the fourth round. In lead as we start playing the fourth from the 47-yard line. It's Gray out of the pocket. And complete. He finds Reggie Williams as Tenard Jackson laying the wood. 17-yard gain. This is a different team this year. Second and nine. Looking for Pope. Intercepted. Tenard Jackson, and he's moving. Jeanette Jackson looking for the house. A marker is down, but Jackson scores. The intercepting player was ruled down by contact at the 32-yard line. Personal foul, grasping the face mask. Passing team number 82. 15-yard penalty. First down, Tampa Bay. That's Leonard Pope. Tampa Bay will keep the ball minus the touchdown. And here's Leonard Pope right here. He's going to run a seam route, but he does not finish the route. Everyone's talked about it. Kurt Warner is a guy who anticipates and throws the spots. And you can see right there, Leonard Pope hesitates. He needs to fight in front of that set, uh, in front of that safety. That is where Kurt Warner is expecting him to be. Then he gets frustrated, gets the gets the face mask right there which direction he goes he turns it the other way kind of a funky handoff there's a throw a catch and a hit and a separation of the football and we talked about how physical the secondary play is for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and there you see the dividends Jackson in on the hit and that was Anquan Bolden right here in the slot he's a guy who's going to come run a little skinny post over the middle getting the seam and he's a big guy. Usually does not drop the ball very sure-handed. And watch Phillips and Denard Jackson meet and sandwich him. Big hit jars, separates the ball from Anquan Bolden. From the 20, Jason Campbell, the quarterback, still has it. Throws outside and completes it to Santana Moss, who lost the football. And it picked up and knocked out of bounds is Denard Jackson. A fumble recovered by Denard Jackson. And there's that Bucks defense, which has been so opportunistic. The field for Tampa Bay. The pump fake, the draw play to Portis. Wrapped up, falls loose on the ground. Recovered by the Bucks. 
There's second fumble recovery, and it's Tenard Jackson again. What? And then a number two wide receiver. They drafted Jarrett, but haven't got any production out of him. Kerry Colbert on the, the second rounder uh, has been your... Play action from Eli Manning, and he hits his big tight end, Kevin Boss. He's brought down immediately after a gain of four, and Boss is the guy who has taken the down in distance. And Bree steps up, excellent protection down the middle, and what a play. Batting it down just as the ball arrived, made by Tenard Jackson. John Gruden told us, yeah, we had John Lynch a long time around here, and I'm not going to pair this young man to Lynch just yet. But he is something special. Yard line. Third and three. Morris. Norwood can't get outside. Tenard Jackson. That's a great play. That's a Pro Bowl type of play. Going to get up on first down. Out of the backfield, that forte. Hit hard. Gets down to the 27-yard line. Another Bears first down. Cato June took him down. They're going to run these guys off, Sam. Two wide receivers going to clear it out. Forte just gets out in the flat for a nice pickup. On third and nine, Jake steps up in the pocket. He's got time and finally has a pass in and out of the hands. Tenard Jackson picks it off for Tampa. Still going, and Jackson's inside the 15. It looked like Steve Smith had it. Jackson was in the right place at the right time. There is a flag down on the play. But Jake DeLone had all kinds of time here. Stands right in that pocket right there. All kinds of guys all around him. Gets rid of this ball here. It's Dante Rosario there. Bounced off of his hands right into Tenard Jackson's hands. Said the safeties would be active today. After the interception and after the ball was dead. Put out wide. It's intercepted. Akeem, his second career pick. Tenard Jackson knocked it free. Flag each one of their interceptions this afternoon. Akeem Talib with his second career pick. Because built into this defense are natural collision points. When they funnel the receiver into the interior of this defense, right here, Tenard Jackson's going to come and put a hit on Steve Smith. You see Steve Smith's already taking his eyes off the ball because he's anticipating that hit. He knows it's coming. The Ingram back in there, he is. But right now, it's pretty much, it's a mess. As Maurice Morris takes it up to the 16-yard line, and he's tackled by Tenard Jackson. The run game. Fumble. Loose ball. Recovered by Tampa Bay. How about that for a change? Tenard Jackson jumps on it. And the Buccaneers get it right back. In fact, I think they gained about five or six yards in the process. He's hoping Tampa can do the same thing. Third down, and a pump fake and lost ball. And Ryan is right there, and it was Tenard Jackson who stripped it away from Matt Ryan. So the Buccaneers defense again holding, and it's fourth down, and Kanan will come in to kick it away. Two great plays in a row by Tenard Jackson. One on the tackle at the line of scrimmage, and it's from a safety blitz. Matt thought he could pull that ball down, duck underneath Tenard. Stewart. First down, Moore. And Stewart loses the ball and a fumble inside the five. And it was Tenard Jackson who knocked the ball away from Stewart. And the Buccaneers. Get it back. Denard Jackson forcing the fumble. Sims recovering. He's a young man with Pro Bowl potential. To leave, shadowing Smith. Third and seven. Jake DeLong's pass. And it's intercepted. Intercepted by Denard Jackson. Touchdown, Bucks. Of the end zone and it is intercepted. 
It's a pick by Jackson. The Tom Brady had thrown 68 touchdowns in the red. Rodgers, nobody coming open. And that pass tipped and intercepted. Being brought back by Tenard Jackson. Heading for the end zone, touchdown! And they keep it going with the lead. Fumble! Ronnie Brown fumbles, picked up by Tenard Jackson. And they had it going over. Oh. the attention of the Jets. And some trickery, it's Brad Smith. Buccaneers were ready for it, and it'll go down as a big loss on the play. Tenard Jackson read it perfectly. Boy, two of the better players on that Buccaneer defense. That needs to step up to the plate and, and, and play with some nastiness. Intercepted on second and 16. And that's Jackson, Tenard Jackson, with the interception in the red zone. Falcons at eight and seven won't be going to the playoffs. Could finish with a nine and seven record. Here's Weems inside the five, and a good return. And a flag goes down, and so is the ball jarred loose, and it's recovered by Tampa Bay. Big hit, but the 52. That penalty is declined. First down, Tampa Bay. It's a big hit by Tenard Jackson for a breather. Had to substitute for him after rushing the passer. Ryan. Intercepted by Tenard Jackson. How about that for a rally breaker? Tenard Jackson. Watch this. Look at Tenard Jackson. Now, when watch what Matt Ryan does when he goes back in the pocket. He tries to move him by looking that way. Tenard Jackson takes just a small cheat step, but doesn't really move off of the spot. See, Matt Ryan thinks he's moved him with his eyes and his head, and then he comes back to his primary receiver. But Tenard Jackson doesn't buy it, and he makes the interception. They give it to Williams, and Williams is hit by Tenard Jackson, the free safety. And there'll be a loss of about two yards. The running. Third and eight. In and out of the hands and picked off by Jackson. Meacham couldn't hold on, but Jackson could. You watch here. Really nice job by Tlaib getting under it, and then Jackson shows his athleticism by gathering the ball while keeping his feet in bounds. You know, you miss this athleticism. You don't have it on the field. This guy is he's crafty, he's athletic. Hester comes in motion into the backfield off the fake end around. The screen intended for Barber picked off Tadar Jackson. Playing it only a second game for the Bucks this season. Had an interception in his season debut last week after he was reinstated by the commissioner. And Jackson returns it 42 yards. I don't know how he does this. You know, last week and then follows it up this week again. I mean, with an interception after being out for over a year. But Marion Barber, you got to make this catch. You just got to make the catch. It, it gets deflected. It goes up in the air. It's going to be a difficult catch, but you got to make that catch on the screen. I, I watched Tenard Jackson on film and was absolutely blown away by how well he played last week in his first game back in over a year. And active today for the Titans. Third and 11, pressure put on. Here's the screen to Javon Ringer. And Ringer loses the ball. And Tenard Jackson picks it up for Tampa Bay. Big turnover with just under a minute to go in the half. And the fourth turnover of the game. Ringer, in what looked like an effective screen pass, lost the ball. And Tenard Jackson recovers it well just old-fashioned hustle by Rondé Barber he rushes the quarterback turns around sometimes you just have to hustle and good things happen this guy has a knack for making plays he intercepts the ball he sacks quarterbacks right there a great hustle play pops the ball out. backfield Gabbert goes outside completing it 
to Dillard. A short pickup to North Jackson comes in.